Hi everyone, yes, you're in the kitchen with me, and I'll tell you why you're in the kitchen. I've done four hours work today, so it's just coming up to 11 o'clock, and I was feeling hungry, so I thought I'd have a little snack, cup of tea, and then I also thought, oh, what am I gonna have for lunch? No bread, no bread in the cupboard. So I thought I would make a very, very quick, rapid loaf in the bread maker that we got at Christmas. So I'm gonna just do that with you today, and, um, Let's have a look, I've got this, this came with the bread maker, so this is gonna give me my instructions. And I've done these before, but I'm gonna do a rapid wholemeal loaf, a large one. So first of all, we need some yeast. We just get the measuring thing. So this is the yeast that I've got, Allinson Easy Bake Yeast. And I'm going to use one and a half teaspoons. So let's use the little measuring thing that came with this. So one and a half, so one. And it's really important, I found with this bread maker, to get the measurements pretty accurate, because otherwise it just doesn't taste right. So there we go, that's that one. So one and a half teaspoons of that. And then we need 500 grams of flour. Now, it just so happens that this is Allinson's flour as well. Not intentional, but it's just a strong, or it says very strong, wholemeal flour. So we need 500 grams of this. If I was doing a large loaf, then it would be 600 grams, but I'm the only one who eats wholemeal bread. So I'm gonna do five, a 500 gram large loaf. Uh, it's just, oh, seems like the scales don't wanna work. Let's try that again, there we go. So 500 grams. I've got Milo for company today. He's looking at what I'm doing, thinking he's gonna get some. So that's uh, not gonna happen. So we've got 250 grams there. Now apparently, with these bread makers, you put the yeast in first so that the yeast doesn't come into contact with the liquid that you put in last. So something to do with the yeast reacting. So let's, uh, we follow the instructions anyway and see how it comes out. And I'll share with you, towards the end of this video, how it comes out as well. So you can see how this bread maker works. And this is one of the best bread makers that I've found actually. We had a bread maker many, many years ago and the bread maker we had before just used to come out terrible. So, so anyway, that's the flour. And I hope you can hear me. I was going to put a microphone on, but I thought, no, I'm not going to put a microphone on for, for this. This is just a very quick and easy loaf. So that's the flour done. Now we need one and a half teaspoons of sugar. So I'm going to use some granulated sugar. And we're going to put one and a half teaspoons of this in. So there's one. And we need a half. There we go, so that's the sugar. And this is just, what, what I was amazed at is how very, very simple this is. I really didn't think it would be this simple. We need one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. So one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. I use this low sodium salt, just because I think it gives the same amount of flavor, but obviously less sodium is good. So one and a quarter. That's one. I'll just show you this. This is the measuring spoon, and it's really good. It's got little segments on it, so I know where I'm going up to to get the quarter. Oops, that's too much. Let me just tip that away. Can't get it back in. There you go. So that's a quarter. Yep, that'll do. We just dip a tiny bit more away, don't want it too salty. There we go, so one and a quarter of those, that's in there. And then we need uh, 25 grams of butter. Now you can obviously use normal butter, but I use this proactive stuff. Um, I just think it's a bit better for you, so we use that. Let's just reset the scales. We need 25 grams of this. So let's see if I can do this in one go. 
there's a little bit of um, something in there, so we'll get rid of that. And I reckon that is 25 grams, so let's have a look. No, that's 17. <laughs> so we need a bit more. Come on, come off the spoon. That's 29, and we've got too much. 26. 25, ah, it went back in, did you see that? <laughs> did you see that? I was flicking it back in the pot, and it went back in. Ah, there we go, so 25 grams of that. Now we need some water. Let's get the jug. Where's the jug gone? One jug, and we need 370 millilitres. Let's just settle that down, see what we got. Well, that is almost 400, so we'll get, get rid of some. Um, we've got to wait while it settles. Come on, this is a rapid loaf. I want to eat lunch at a normal time. Yeah, that's 370, so we we'll tip that in. And that is all the ingredients. So now we need to just get it in the bread maker. So here is the bread maker, and that's what the mix looks like. So we're just going to pop this into the bread maker. It's going to be a late lunch actually. Come on, in you go. There we go, so that's now in place. And we close the lid. And it's menu five for a rapid loaf. So we just keep tapping this till we get menu five. The size is large, so we've just changed that to large. Look, you can cycle round extra large, medium or large. And then we choose what sort of crust we want. Oh, we don't on the wholemeal one. So on a white one, you can choose dark, medium, or light crust. Well, we can't choose that, so that's it. That's all we set, it's just the size. And then we're gonna click start. And we'll be back in three hours. So the plan with that loaf was to actually have it for lunch, but it took me about 10 minutes to get it all ready. And I didn't realize that a white loaf takes two hours and a wholemeal loaf, for some reason, even on the rapid setting, takes three hours, and that's gonna to be too late for lunch. So I'm gonna to have to have something different for lunch, but I still will share with you how that loaf turns out. So I just heard the noise of the bread maker finishing. So the bread is ready. I've already had lunch, but I wanted to still share with you how this loaf turned out. So there you can see the bread maker. Let's open this up. Wow, looks good. Looking good, let me get a glove. It's obviously gonna be hot in there. I really do love the smell of this bread as well. So we will lift this out, if we can. There we go, out it comes. Da -da -da -da. And pop it there. And just pop back over and turn this off. And the thing I like about this Panasonic bread maker as well, is that it is super easy to clean. It's a non-stick sort of loaf tin, and I just think it's brilliant. I really do, I think it's so, so easy. So, let's have a look at this. I'm gonna have to set the camera down so that I can get this out of the tin. Comes out really easily. There we go. Even the paddle, there's a paddle that mixes the uh, ingredients even that has come out of the loaf. So here we go. This is the loaf. Look at that. That is what you call a really nice bread loaf. Super fresh, lovely to eat while it's warm as well, and healthy because it's wholemeal. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different video today. The bread maker, I will leave a link in the video description to where you can pick one of those up. We got ours from Amazon, and as I say, we bought it before Christmas, so the price might well be different to when we got it. 
I think when I ordered it, it was about 70 or 80 pounds, round about that sort of price, which might seem like a lot, but it was a treat for the whole family. Um, and the cost of making a loaf is round about 50 or 60 pence, something like that. And if you buy a loaf, you're gonna pay about sort of between one pound and one pound 30 for a loaf in the UK. So that's quite a saving. That's under half the price and it's fresh and you haven't got all the preservatives in it. That's what I think is the, the biggest thing is the fact that you're just putting the normal sort of natural ingredients in there and not adding the preservatives, which obviously the other bread makers have to add because they have to give their bread that's in the packet some sort of shelf life. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and I'll see you all again in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.